It couldn't be done, but the Jacksonville City Council appears on schedule now to come up with a new council district map as ordered by a federal judge. Last month, the judge agreed with groups, including the NAACP, who sued over the city's original map, claiming that it created unnecessary racial segregation and was unconstitutional. In her ruling, the judge sent them back to the drawing board, saying that the council ignored public outcry over the racial makeup of the maps. On your side, Andrew Badillo was at the first of four redistricting meetings this week and says several members of the public still feel like they're being ignored. Jacksonville City Council spent an hour and 15 minutes discussing these four district maps behind me. The one on the far right, the plaintiff's map in the racial gerrymandering case. The other three behind me were drawn by an outside map consultant that was brought in. Now, council has decided to move forward with two of the four maps, both drawn up by that consultant. But that all happened before the public had any opportunity to weigh in on any of these four maps behind me. What kind of public comment did you expect when we hadn't even seen the maps until just now? While they pleaded for city council to listen, several members of the public feel like they're talking to a brick wall. It's very similar to the way the previous meetings went. They should not have, have chosen maps without hearing the public's input first. I mean, that is one of the reasons that we're here today. Kim Pryor has been to every public meeting regarding redistricting. Tuesday, she was there as the city council saw the proposed maps for the first time. They quickly shifted their focus to two maps and away from one map submitted by plaintiffs who sued the city over the map the council approved in March. They also set aside one of three maps created by their paid consultant, expressing concern over neighborhoods split into two districts. When a federal judge shot down the council's original map, she sent them back to begin again with public input. The council created an email account for feedback, but they did not accept public comment or read emails until after their vote on Tuesday. There's a chance that their, their considerations and their thoughts are comments that one of my colleagues or myself, we agree with, and we make that, we make that change to the map. The people that are here are elected to represent us and they need to listen to us and they need to do the right thing. City Council has two more meetings before voting on a final map on Friday. Late Tuesday, the judge rejected the city's request to halt her recent order. At City Hall, Andrew Badillo, First Coast News, on your side.